Hey viewers, and in today's video, you're going to learn how to convert a Figma design into HTML. So as a very quick example, we're going to do the case study page and we're just introducing the product and then we have the title and the name of the project with the problem, the audience, the UVP. We can then showcase different bits of the project such as the logo exploration, the design system, the values of the brand, the wireframes and then the user flow. Okay, so just to get everything set up, what I've done, I've got Figma on the left and I've got VS Code on the right. So just a quick point as well is when you export all your images, I put them into a folder and you want to do it at 2x because of the quality because some hiring managers when they look at your portfolio they're on high res screens so something to bear in mind quickly do I'm just gonna hide the UI create a new page and we're just gonna call that case hyphen study dot HTML I'm also gonna hide this so command B hides that sidebar just to give us some space and I'm also gonna just hide that terminal window. We just do shift exclamation mark, enter. I'm going to whiz through this. Let's see how fast I can do this case study. And then in the body, the first thing we need to, to think of is we're going to make this into a header tag. So just type header and then hit enter and enter again. We're going to wrap this whole header into a div so we can center align. So we just go div and then enter, enter. And what we want in that div is an image. Hit enter and then dot slash images. And then I've created a folder called virtual date. And in there, the very first thing is the hero image. And then after that, we want to have a H1. And then that we just have virtual date as an example and then after that we have a p tag and there's going to be some lorem epsom for now and then we save okay so then after after those bits we also want to add another div and this div which is going to hold all of these three we're going to then put each of these into divs. So we just go div, enter, enter, and these are going to be H2. So H2, enter. So we just say problem and then enter again, P, enter, lorem, enter. And then we're going to repeat these. So we just click and drag and then you do alt shift down twice. So that just copies this whole thing, which is just absolutely awesome. So audience who we're targeting and the unique value proposition. I think this is quite a nice way to start the case study. So the next bit after that is we have the header section and what it's going to be is they're all going to be very similar. So section, enter. So imagine each of these now is a section and they all have a div so I'll just bring that up and they have an image and we go dots forward slash images virtual date and we want to show the logo and then after that we then want a p tag and we just put in some lorem epsom save that and then the same thing all we need to do is we are then going to do alt shift down and now we want the design system. So I'll just go forward slash design system. And in this case, we want a heading tag. So there could be different bits of information. So H2 enter, say heading. And then the next bit is the values. So again, I just drag and select alt shift down and we then want values. Not sure if you can hear the fan there. 
the fans are starting to go off. Okay, and this time we got heading and then two bits of paragraphs. So what we want to do here is we're just going to delete those two and we're actually just going to copy this and we're going to paste and we just then delete one of those save okay and then the next bit is the wireframes so i'm going to copy this one alt shift down cut that delete paste and uh, we just need to change that to wireframes okay and then the next bit is the user journey so again just select alt shift down and then in here we just need to select user journey save and then the last bit which i haven't done but i think it's a good section to plan for is a prototype or which we've done in a lot of projects or a video so alt shift oh yeah alt shift down so this is really it is not that difficult again so we're looking for prototype oh yeah we don't have anything so just leave that empty for now and then at the end we got a got a project section so i'm actually going to copy that alt shift down we don't have an image in there but here we're just going to very quickly copy the text so got a project Oop. and then we just select all of those and then we just create a link tag and in that link tag oop, we want it to mail to and this will then bring up the default email for the user and get in touch save so we've actually done the html okay it's actually not too bad it's actually pretty pretty simple and the patterns are repeated so i hope you're finding this video useful please gently smash the like button subscribe hit the bell and let's have a look actually at the live code so if sometimes for some reason you can't see the live and it's probably because I've I've yeah I've minimized it so if I just bring it up a bit if I hit go live so there we go so straight away you can see here that this is the bare bones HTML we have the hero image we have the logo design system the values the wireframes the user journey and then we have a call to action section at the end now just little bits to add is we also need to link the styles so link and then css forward slash style save that and straight away that's made some very little changes because we're adding in our style.css so again here this has made the images fluid so yeah we very quickly did the bare bones html and again the reason why i i love showing html is because i think it's it's a nice skill to have some of the jobs that you look at it says there's a nice bonus if you know html and css and again not to put too much pressure on yourself you're not going to be a developer you're not going to do the developer's job but if you have a basic understanding i think it is pretty good okay a very quick drink and i'm having english tea with milk and in the next video we're then going to use css to style the page and again we've already created most of the css in our small little framework so if you haven't done that video again i'll leave a link in the description so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the notification bell and in the next video we're going to use css to style the page